This is for number 7 on module 7 homework. To compare the drive braking distances from 30 to 0 miles per hour for two makes of automobile, a safety engineer conducts braking tests for 35 models of make A and 35 models of make B. The mean braking distance for make A is 42 feet. Assume the population standard deviation is 4.8 feet. Now, wow, they gave us that. So we're going to do Z stat because they gave us population standard deviation. How cool that we know that. But all right, before I open up stat crunch to do everything, let's go ahead and identify the claim being made here. So what are they saying? Um, so they say they're claim, uh, they're comparing it. Let's actually keep on reading. The mean braking distance for make B is 44 feet. Assume the population standard deviation is 4.5 feet. At alpha level 0.10, can the engineer support the claim? Now here comes the claim that the mean braking distances are different for the two makes of automobile. So that's the claim being made here that they are different. So the mean braking distance is different for the two makes of automobile. Now, when they say different, then we're saying mu1 minus mu2 does not equal to each other, or mu1 does not equal to uh, mu2. So that makes it an alternative hypothesis, but they're having not equal to symbol. So the null will be assuming that they are the same. All right, let's go find the critical value. And for that, we're going to use stack crunch. And like we said, because we know population standard deviation, oh, cool, right? We're going to open up Z stat to sample with summary, okay? They didn't give us stand samples of population standard deviation. I would have been doing the T stat, but this one they gave it to us. So let's type in everything. The mean was what? 30, no, 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 42. Standard deviation was 4.8. And size was 35. Mean was 44 for the second standard deviation is 4.5. And I, re I remember the sample size were the same, right? 35 and 35. All right, hypothesis test is assuming that a null is assuming that they are equal. So mu1 minus mu2 equals zero. This is saying their difference is zero. And alternative is assuming that, that their difference is not equal to zero. Okay, so that's all. There we go. The critic, oh, ah. They want us to find the critical values for alpha equals 10%. So, all right, I'm going to have to go open up. Which stat are we using? Open up normal distribution because they gave us population standard deviation. That's, you know, that's, that's what the Z came from. Z score is from the standard normal distribution. So open up no calculator, open up normal, okay? And this is what you're going to go to. Go to between... And what you want is you want 90% in the middle. Why is it 90% in the middle? Alpha is 10%, right? So we want 90% in the middle, 10% to the right and left of this middle. So the critical value is 1.6449. So just round to two decimal places, that number and the negative of that number, okay? If I, uh, so the rejection region will be anything in that Y to area, to the left of this red um, confidence interval or like 95 percent 90 percent confidence interval or the right side of it so anything that's less than negative 1.64 and anything that's greater than positive 1.64 all right the critical you know the standardized test statistic we already found it and that came out to be about negative 1.798 but round to two decimal places i'm gonna have to round that up to negative 1.80 and because this number is less than negative 1.64, it falls in the rejection region. So we're going to have to say we reject the null hypothesis. The test statistic, those fall in the rejection region. Okay? All right. So at 10% level of significance, okay, because that was the alpha level, there is sufficient evidence to... Now, what was the claim being made? Claim was saying that there is difference, right? The claim was the alternative hypothesis. So when you reject the null, we support the alternative hypothesis. So um, the, they are different. That's what the claim was being made. So that's it for question number seven on module seven homework.